Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Frick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems. Today's video, we are going to cover setting an interior camera shot. So let's go ahead and launch MicroStation Connect Edition, load the workspace Bentley Connect Training and the work set visualization. Then we can go ahead and load the drawing A underbar station model underbar MS. Now, setting up a interior shot versus an exterior shot is no different. We just have to be a little bit more precise on our camera placement because we are going to be constrained by walls and floors and ceilings. So we have to make sure that our camera falls into that area. Now, once our shot comes up here, we are in a camera view right now in our view two, but we're going to restore down our view two and then grab by the lower left hand corner click and drag so we can again see our three views our top view in view one our front view in view three and then our perspective will come up in view two let's go ahead and make sure that we go to the visualization workflow we're going to go to the home tab and we're going to click on place camera now remember from the exterior shot, the first click that we make, again, if you read your prompts in the lower left-hand corner, select active view. So I'm gonna click on view two, that's where I always set my perspective. That's where my camera view comes up. Now it says define camera position, but first we wanna set our settings. So our standard lens, we wanna to set to wide. And then our camera height and our target height will be turned on and uh, we're in uh, millimeters right now, so 2,000 millimeters will be two meters. So I'm going to type in 2,000 millimeters and our target height, 2,000 millimeters there. Our prompt is prompting us to define the camera position. So I want to stand here inside the building. And then just to verify, if you look at the front elevation as you move your view cone out, if you look in your front elevation, you can see that the, the eye point that we set is about six feet off the ground and the viewpoint that we set is about six feet off the ground. Also remember, make sure that your snaps are off because if I snap to any of these elements, that's going to override my height settings for my camera and my target. So I want to again look through my building. I'm going to left click here on the right hand side of the building and my perspective will come up in view two. Now we can go ahead and maximize view two. Perfect. We are inside the walls, we are above the floor, we're below the ceiling. We've got a perfect interior shot. I'm gonna go ahead and render that scene and we'll take a look and see what we've got. All right, there we have it. There's our rendering and it's a very, very nice perspective. Thank you and uh, continue watching our video series. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.